Okay, this is just a quick tutorial on how to create your own custom home page. It'll have all the links you want on it and it'll you'll be able to edit it very quickly and add whatever you want, take away whatever you want. One of the things we need to do first for, for most users, you're going to need to come in here and view and make sure that this hide extensions for known file types is unchecked. This needs to be unchecked so we can make sure we can turn a, a text file into an HTML file. So all we're going to do is create a text file first. You see how it's called text? This is the default for all text files. And so we're just going to rename it links.html. So that's all a web page really is. It's just a text file with an HTML extension on it. And now once we click away, it'll, it'll ask us, are we sure we want to do this? It won't be a text file anymore. It's going to change. We say yes, we want to keep it. Now it's an HTML file. It looks, it's got a little Firefox icon. That means uh, Firefox can open it up just like a web page. But there's nothing in it right now, so we just need to go and edit it. <coughs> so we're going to go to right click, edit. Now we could have just come in here first and created it and then file saved as HTML. That works too, either way. This program's called Notepad++. I highly recommend it even if you're not going to be doing HTML because you get tabbed browsing and if, if you're into any kind of programming you can come in here and set what language you want to do and it'll it'll match the colors to the uh, language so you make sure you're not making any mistakes. So we'll go in here and go ahead and do HTML. If you name it HTML, Notepad++ usually just it'll 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 know intuitively to make it an HTML, but we we're gonna go ahead and set it anyway. But this will work just as well in your, the regular Notepad on your computer. Also, I have little numbered lines here. This can this can help you debug your program if if need be. But the one should you should know that it has nothing to do with the actual uh, programming. So. We start an HTML document like this, HTML. You see it's changed color, that means it was good, it knows what it means. Now we're just going to give it a title. Links, just like the name of the file. That's, that's what's going to appear up here in the web browser. And now we just end the... So everything in HTML starts and ends, so eventually we can end this HTML. It's not really necessary to end the HTML, but almost everything in HTML starts and then ends with the same uh, word here, and then you just put the, the forward slash. So now we're going to move on to the body. This is everything that will appear on the page itself. And go, feel free to use as much blank space as you want. It doesn't matter. And now we're just going to jump right to it. We're going to create a link. So this is one of the most important pieces of HTML to know. I mean, the other stuff you'll remember pretty easily. HTML, title, body. This one's kind of hard to remember. A href. I think it means a hyperlink reference. I'm not sure. But a href. And then equals. And then make sure you put it in quotation marks the absolute uh, web address of where you're going. So you gotta put that HTTP in there, colon, forward slash, forward slash, and now we'll just do google.com, and with another quotation mark, and with the greater than sign, now that, that closes the link. Now we just need to put in what we want to appear on the actual web page. So this was the link to where we actually wanna go, and this is what will appear on the web page, which this link will take you to. So we'll just put Google, makes sense, and then make sure we close it one more time with a forward slash A. Notice that it, it ends with that, starts with that A and ends with that A. But in the middle you also ended the link. So let's go ahead and file, save, and we'll go over to the web browser. Now how do you open up in the web browser? Well, there's nothing really to type in. It's not on the internet at all yet, so it's only on your computer. So you go to file, open file, look for it on your computer, here it is right here, links, the one I just made, and we open, and there it is. The title is links, and then there's that Google uh, link we just created. So now, say we're done with it, we want to come back, which we just, we would come here and go to edit again. That would bring it up. Now say we want to create another link. 
we need to first create a little uh, break here. This the the not BRB, but this this means to just jump to the next line. Now there's various ways to do this in HTML, but I like just ending you know my my link with just a, a, a BR break, and that will take you to the next line on the actual. Uh, web page. If I didn't put this here and I just jumped to the next line without it, then all the links would just appear across and I don't want that. I want them to come downward. So, and here's one more trick. So, say we don't want to type out the whole thing, although I recommend typing it out quite a bit just to remember it. A href equals, now put the http colon forward slash but now leave this part blank because this is a variable. This is where you're going to put anything you want. So end it with another quotation mark. And now we're getting this is another variable. We can put whatever we want. And then we have to end it again with the A. And with the break again. So now we can just copy this whenever we need to make sure you get the whole thing and so you can create as many links as you want so just knowing the uh, the address and what you want to uh, put in there so say we want to do YouTube now youtube.com not sure if that empty space I don't think that'll matter let's see and so now just YouTube that will appear on the page and everything's already set the whole the whole thing looks correct notepad agrees and um, so hopefully we'll see YouTube and it'll link to YouTube so save make sure you save it again come back here and then make sure you reload and then there it is YouTube disappeared now make sure you test them Google works YouTube YouTube works and that's pretty much all there is to it now you if you wanted to say create another column here or several more columns so you fill this left side up just go in HTML or just Google HTML table and that will take you about maybe three or four minutes to learn and then you'll know just you just put like a, a table up here you'd, you'd start it with the table and then you would just create another column here and it's very simple very straightforward okay I hope you enjoyed this hope you got something out of it thanks for watching